If you're here and you're wondering how to set up TikTok ads for your e-commerce store to generate some of the results that we've all been seeing on Instagram and YouTube, stay tuned because I want to get into our TikTok ads, how we set them up, the creative and the testing. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, agency specialized in Facebook ads, Google ads, social media marketing, search engine optimization. I also own an e-commerce store and coach consultant for e-commerce brands. So let's get into how to set up TikTok ads to be effective to drive qualified traffic to your store. So first step in setting up TikTok, if you have a Shopify store, which I have, it was a bit challenging to get the connection to come through correctly. So in my opinion, I personally would set up my own business manager account and ads manager account in TikTok and then connect it to your Shopify store instead of using the Shopify dashboard, which had trouble connecting via the API. First step is go to ads.tiktok.com. So when you get to the main screen, simple, everyone's seeing the creative assets that everyone sees on TikTok being different than any other platform. So keep that in mind and we'll discuss that part later. So when you get to the screen, you either have your own TikTok already set up or if you are a new company, new TikTok account, this is where you're gonna enter in your email, your password and or your phone number to connect to a new account. So we're gonna skip forward to that because I've already done that. So we're gonna go into my account. So you've set everything up. You do have to provide your EIN number, your legal entity, your business, your address, all that information, but that's not the details. You can do that easily. So let's get into setting up the accounts. So for the campaigns, you have two different options. You have the simplified mode and you have the custom mode. Now, if any of you have run Facebook ads, the custom mode is so close to the Facebook ads manager that you should intuitively know how to do it. If not, we'll go through that, but let's start with the simplified mode. So you have four options when you get to the TikTok business manager. You have community interaction, which is gonna be engaging with your content. Second is gonna be website visits. Third is gonna be generate leads. And fourth will be conversions. Now, if you click conversions, which I want to click, but we won't for the sake of simplified mode, it's gonna bring you to the expert mode or the custom mode. So let's go with website visits to start so you can start driving relatively low cost traffic to your store and then we'll get into the custom mode and if you guys are finding this video useful so far give me a thumbs up hit the like button subscribe engage with this channel it's growing i'm trying to put out more content for you guys so if you have any questions leave a comment below i'd be happy to walk through anything or make a video just for you because that's how nice of a person i am so let's get back into it so from here, we have our options. So I wanna target the United States and we have two different choices. We have custom audience or automatic audience. I never wanna give all of the keys to the castle to these platforms, so I like to have some control. So we're gonna go with custom audience. Demographics. Now for Savage Man Grooming, it's a beard company, so I don't necessarily wanna be targeting women. So we're going to go ahead and select male, and then we're picking our ages, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, and 45 to 54. Languages, we want to do English, and then interests. So we have the option to include a variety of different interests. I want to do beauty and personal care. We're going to do hair care, wig and hairstyling, skin care. Let's do sports and outdoors. So those are going to be my picks. People interested in hair, beard, etc., but also sports. Now, this is super broad. We can dial this down even deeper, but for the sake of this video, I'm walking you through how similar this is to the Facebook ads manager. Funny, I'm sure they did that on purpose so that you guys have a better idea of how to set these up. Now, from here, we get to see the people who have carried out certain interactions with the content on TikTok. So watch till the end, liked the video, commented, shared not really super important but watch to the end and shared means that these people are actually engaging with content on tiktok instead of just swiping so 
Now we get to sort how people are engaging with this content. They like nature videos. Is it lifestyle videos? Is it sports related, music related? You get to pick with the type of channels people are engaging with. So your target audience, what are they engaging with on TikTok? And then you can show your ads to those people. So we're gonna go into beauty and style. So hair beauty, um, we also wanna show based on our creative, that is pretty funny if you haven't seen it, check it out on Instagram, Facebook, the website, wherever you'd like to find it, savagemangrooming.com, subtle plug. If you guys are interested in learning more about ads, I have a great Facebook ads video all about scaling, which you can find right here. And then we can also do, you know, fitness. So now we've selected these different interests and the time period, let's just go 15 days. Where do you want your ads to show on TikTok? We do not want any of those random little things. So we have a sized audience, 13 million to 18 million. TikTok's telling me it's narrow, but let's give it a shot. When TikTok ads first started coming out, and I believe still on custom mode, it's a minimum of dollars. It's a minimum of $20 a day. So we're gonna just do five. And it brings us to where we input the creative information, which is fantastic. We have creative already. Now remember, this is where I would say that TikTok is different because the content on TikTok is different than any other platform. And Instagram's trying to do with their reels, but people are accustomed to seeing a certain type of creative element or videos on TikTok. So if you don't have something that is a vertical format, in relation to how people are dancing on TikTok and doing all these different videos, then chances are you're gonna fail because what's gonna happen is people are gonna inherently immediately know that this is an ad and will skip by it. So figure out the creative on how to do TikTok before even getting into how to set up these ads. So I'm uploading two videos to TikTok that we will run at $5 a day. Now with TikTok, once we've uploaded our two videos, there's two options. We can either use the originals or TikTok will actually optimize it with images or effects to increase the engagement. Now historically with Facebook, which I've been doing for years, I like to have the control of everything to determine what works best. But with TikTok and being a new platform, and most of the brands are just testing to see what this whole thing is about. We're gonna go to the quick optimize. And so as tacky as some of those are, we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm to move on to the next step for text. Now, text is a very interesting thing and to write copy, you need to be effective. And if you're interested in learning how to write copy using artificial intelligence, click this video right here where I get into Jasper, a phenomenal AI tool to help spark some creativity in your mind to write copy that converts. So here we're just uploading our three videos, user generated content of customers that have done video reviews talking about the brand. And so the quick optimize section adds music effects, different things, but it actually masks out if you have someone speaking. So we're going to go ahead and use original, but definitely mess around with the quick optimize, see what it does for your videos. And then you can make the decision whether or not to use it. So display name, we're just going to do savage man grooming shop now and then we just go ahead savagemangrooming.com we want to actually go to the beard products because i want them going directly to our collections page to see the versatility of the products that we sell profile image And then you hit submit. And so that's it. That's how you set up a TikTok ad in simplified mode, which is pretty simple. Now we're going to get back to the results of this campaign at a later date. And for the essence of time, and I apologize, we'll do the custom mode next week in a second video, just so that you're not here for 25 minutes learning about how to do TikTok ads. 
And by then I'll also have some results. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, get notified so that next week when the results come back from this campaign, as well as I walk you through how to set up a custom campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment below. I personally actually respond to you and I'm here to help. So that's my goal. Help you guys understand how to do all these things effectively so that you can grow your business. We'll see you next week.